Hi everyone, welcome to endisenglishnote.com where in this video we're going to look at Act 3, Scene 2 from Romeo and Juliet. So it's just after the fight scene where uh, Romeo has killed Tybalt and Romeo has been banished from Verona. So Juliet is in the Capulet Orchard. Juliet gives the audience a soliloquy where she shows how much she longs to spend the night with Romeo. Give me my Romeo and when I shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars. Notice the mention of Juliet's death. This is a form of foreshadowing by the playwright. As the scenes progress now, you're going to hear Juliet talk about her own death quite a bit. The nurse enters with the dramatic news. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Juliet, thinking that the nurse means Romeo, says, Can heaven be so envious? So she's personified uh, heaven here as if heaven is jealous and wanted Romeo for itself. Okay, so um, you'll see personification used quite a bit. So it's important you're able to identify the personification and maybe even use it in your answers. Vile earth to earth resign, I end motion here, and thou and Romeo press one heavy buyer. Again, Juliet mentions dying if Romeo is dead, another form of foreshadowing. Okay, the nurse explains what happened. The nurse explains that Tybalt is dead and Juliet in a panic believes both Romeo and Tybalt are dead. The nurse explains that Tybalt is dead and Romeo has been banished. Juliet realizes that then that Romeo has killed Tybalt. Oh, serpent heart hid with a flowering face. Did ever dragon keep so fair a cave? Okay, so she's basically saying, how could someone so beautiful, so a flowering face, have such a serpent heart, so a, like a snake heart? So how could someone so beautiful do such an ugly thing? So she starts criticizing Romeo. Juliet gives a long speech on how such ugliness can hide in such a beautiful person. But when the nurse criticizes Romeo, Juliet is annoyed that she ever got mad at Romeo. Oh, what a beast was I to chide at him. So basically, when the nurse starts criticizing Romeo, Juliet then realizes how wrong it is to be questioning her husband. And she's annoyed at herself then for, for um, criticizing him in any way. Juliet is devastated that Romeo has been banished. She says like that it is like being told her whole family is dead. Romeo is banished. To speak that word is father, mother, Tybalt, Romeo, Juliet, all slain, all dead. And again, reference to death, constantly talking about it. So Juliet thinks she will die a widow. Juliet tells the nurse to lift the rope ladder that Romeo was to use to enter her room as it is now useless. Juliet says she's going to bed where she hopes she will die. She says that death and not Romeo will take her virginity. Come cords, come nurse, I'll to my wedding bed. And death, not Romeo, take my maiden head. Once again, we see Juliet mention her own death and suicide. So at any mention of any obstacles in her life, the first port of call for Juliet is to think about her own death. The nurse, upset at seeing Juliet like this, tells her to go to bed and she will go get Romeo who is hiding in Friar Lawrence's cell. Juliet gives her a ring and tells her to find him and bring him back so they can spend the night together. Okay, so that's Act 3, Scene 2. Uh, again, if you liked it, please hit like and please subscribe for more videos. Thank